his office, hoping to convince the unvaccinated to get those shots. The White House announcing today that more than 4 million federal employees will have to show proof of vaccination or follow strict testing protocols. The president calling it an American tragedy that people are dying who do not need to die. And he is hoping to convince private companies to follow suit. Google, Facebook, Netflix, and others already asking their employees to be vaccinated. Surge in cases may already be convincing some who are reluctant to be vaccinated. The U.S. now averaging over 600,000 shots a day in the past week alone, up 18%. Tonight, 189 million people have received at least one dose, nearly 67% of people 12 and older. And the big test this weekend, the Lollapalooza Music Festival in Chicago, expecting 100,000 people a day. And now new questions tonight about booster shots. The president weighing in on that as well. And ABC's Alex Perez leads us off from Chicago. Tonight, with the U.S. nearing COVID case numbers is similar to last summer's surge, and President Biden putting the pressure on federal workers to get vaccinated. Every federal government employee will be asked to test for vaccination certificate. Anyone who does not attest or is not vaccinated will be required mask no matter where they work. The requirement impacting more than 4 million workers, including federal contractors and members of the military. The U.S. government, the largest employer in the country. Biden pushing the private sector hard to do more on mandates. We all want our lives to get back to normal. The fully vaccinated workplaces will, will make that happen quickly and more successfully. The president's also urging states to give $100 vaccine incentives to each person who gets a shot. His announcement coming as the pace of vaccinations picks up with over 2.7 million new shots administered just in the last week, up nearly 18% from the previous week. Still, the U.S. is now averaging nearly 62,000 new cases a day. Major companies like Facebook, Google, and Netflix taking action, all announcing they will require most employees to be vaccinated. Walt Disney and Disneyland reinstating their mask policies is starting Friday for everyone age two and up, regardless of vaccination status. Disney is the parent company of ABC. Today, Arkansas's governor reinstating its public health emergency, saying he will call a special session to overturn a ban on mask mandates for K through 12 public schools. The state also asking the White House to send a surge response team. And in Chicago, the four-day music festival Lollapalooza kicking off just hours ago. About 100,000 people expected each day. I got vaccinated. I made sure the people that I'm with are vaccinated. Um, I mean, I'm going to have a mask with me. The Delta variant is spreading through the U.S. The number of hospitalizations nearly matching where they were last August. As over 33,000 received treatment, 10,000 more than a week ago. Our Trevor Alt was at Florida's Tampa General, where nearly all of the COVID patients are unvaccinated. The average age is in the 40s. Feels like it's an impending storm. I don't think there's anything that's gonna, there's no off ramp and it's getting worse, unfortunately. And as we learn more about breakthrough infections, the CDC now recommending vaccinated people be tested if they come in contact with someone with COVID, even if they have no symptoms. And Pfizer making the case for booster shots, revealing new data shows after six months that their vaccine's efficacy dropped from 96% to 84%. That data from March, before the Delta variant became the dominant strain. But some health experts saying not so fast. I still do think booster shots may be needed for frail elderly, for certain immunocompromised. But I don't believe right now, based on the data, that the kind of broad general population and Alex presence with us live from outside Lollapalooza there in Chicago. Alex, health officials are saying they are taking precautions to ensure everyone's safety there, but there are still serious concerns about possible outbreaks. Yes, yeah, Cecilia, authorities taking this very seriously, saying they are very concerned. As you heard me say, everyone who shows up here at the festival must have proof of a vaccine or a negative COVID test in order to get into the festival. The Biden administration stressing again today that this right now appears to be a pandemic among the unvaccinated, that the concern is very real. Cecilia? Very real concern indeed. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News.